everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I'm going to show you part 47 on how to make a Skype tool series, and it's going to be how to make a group chat bomber, as some people like to call it. Um, so essentially what it's going to do is create a new group chat with all your contacts in one click of a button. Uh, so the reason I didn't actually want to show it is because uh, other than not many people have it, and it was in my tool for a while, uh, but it's also very, very annoying. Uh, to the point where probably if you send me or if you put me in a group chat I might just remove you because it's that annoying personally anyway um, but it's a highly requested thing so I thought I'd go ahead and finally show it off so um, we might as well get in with it and we're going to need a text box because we can actually give it a few variables to change and uh, all user, user options so like the chat title and things like that and then the button obviously to create it which will just be uh, create chat so what we want to do is uh, come inside the button click and there's something uh, called skype dot create chat multiple that's what we're going to be using you can see it needs uh, a skype user collection now there's also create chat using a blob and there's also create chat with which uh, uses a string so when I was testing this I was getting confused because I was using arrays things like that but it turns out the best way to do it is to use a user collection like it tells you to uh, of getting all your friends so we we'll use dim all contacts we'll call it and that will be as a skype for comlib dot user collection and that's going to be equal to skype dot friends like that so now what this is all contacts is now a collection of all the friends in your contact list um, and then we're going to use this list to to create the chat so the only thing is we could just say skype dot create chat but we're going to use uh, dim new chat uh, is equal to skype dot create chat multiple and we'll just give it the all contacts uh, name there so now we're going to create a chat with all of our contacts the reason I use new chat is because now we can go down and use new chat uh, dot and you can see we've got a whole list of things we can do with a chat now whereas if we were just to do skype dot create chat we wouldn't have this option and it would just create the chat for us so now you can see we've got a lot of things in here that we can do um, one of the things being we're going to set the topic and that is going to be equal to our text box which we have here which is number 49 and that will be equal to text box 49 dot text and if we go down we'll say new chat and we'll just have a look what we've got here one of the main things in my tool that I liked about it was there's a send message function uh, so I'd send like or the, the user had the option to send it and they'd most commonly type you got bombed by, uh, which also I don't really like, but yeah, there we have it. We've got the send message function, but now that no longer works. Uh, if you watch my previous videos or if you've been watching them, you know that I come out of a workaround for it. But the thing is, uh, the workaround requires a like a handle, and because this is a group chat, there is no, it's not like a one-on-one -on -one chat, um, so you can't give it a handle. So if you use this, you'll see the message, but it just won't send. So there's no point going ahead and using that. That's pretty sad that that doesn't work anymore. Part of the reason why I haven't been making Skype videos, because personally the API is a bit dead now. Uh, so there is really no point in making them, but you know some people still like to do it. So you can see we've got a few more things here. Uh, like you can kick people. Um, and actually what you should do is kick me from the chat if you're going to do it <laughs> because I don't want to be in there so you probably could do kick and if it's a username yeah so you want to kick and you just want to kick me so if you could do that that would be nice uh, or you could I guess remove them from the all contacts collection but you can just do it this way uh, one other thing that I like to do uh, we're going to create an if check if text box 49 dot text is equal to nothing 
going to say message box dot show please enter a topic one thing I did in my tool was create a um, like a message box saying are you sure you want to do it because uh, that is quite annoying as well so you, that might be an idea for you but what I want to do first is just say new chat dot open window and that will just open it up for you on your screen and there is really nothing else to show about it other than other things that you can do in here uh, there's a there's a whole lot of things you can naturally do with it um, other than one of the main things which was sending a message to it but that's up to you so what I actually what I did do is I had an option in my tool where I had a little checkbox if I can find one uh, there it is I'll just move it up there and I'll call that leave chat so what that's gonna do is once we've created the chat we can automatically leave it which is also quite annoying for the, the users because you, they've you've made the chat and left it and left them all in there so uh, what we'll say is uh, right here we'll say if checkbox I'm assuming it's number five dot checked is equal to true then we'll copy that we want to leave it uh, can you remove that else if it's not checked we'll do it again just because if it's checked we want to leave the chat so we can say new chat dot leave and if it's not checked we'll just do it and not leave so uh, maybe before you leave you might want to leave a little pause in uh, probably not the best idea to use it but we're going to use system dot thread in dot thread dot sleep and we'll just sleep for a second we'll pause the thread for a second then leave the chat uh, so there we have it we'll leave the chat after a second then leave everyone in there and you can imagine if you've got a lot of contacts how annoying this can get so please please use it uh, carefully and don't get too ridiculous with it uh, like I said I might remove you if you spam it too much so please don't and please kick me from it with the code anyway that would be very nice of you so yeah that's that's it for the video sorry it's not very long um, but there isn't really too much to show with the Skype tutorials uh, other than we're on part 47 and I would like to get to part 50 and I think I'll end it on part 50 if we can get that far so uh, if you can suggest me three more pretty cool things in the comments below that I'd, I'd like to get the rest of them finished and we'll get this series over and done with so thank you for watching if you did leave a uh, if you did like the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time